today we're gonna go ahead and look at some budget 3 8 foot pound torque wrenches here. So I put this little table together, just showing some of that data. You can see the Pittsburgh is the cheapest. Pittsburgh precise built and Amazon have a max torque rating of 80, whereas the E-Torque has 100. All have a 45 tooth ratchet head. Pittsburgh is made in Vietnam. Precise build is Taiwan. Amazon Basic is China, and so is the E-Torque. All, of course, are coming in a blow molded case. Nothing real fancy here with the Pittsburgh. Ratchet kind of seems pretty good for what it is. Old school locking mechanism and indication here. Also comes with this very interesting inspection table. Same deal with the ratchet mechanism, seems all right. Plastic handle, lock unlock here. And we do have this certificate of calibration. Amazon Basic, I have never seen a torque wrench package like this. You can see on both ends they tape some foam. Looks to be fairly similar to the Pittsburgh. Other than that, it came with a set of instructions, but I could not find a calibration certificate. E-Torque, higher price, but appears to be higher quality. You do have hard plastic and a rubberized grip here. Now this one is supposed to be plus or minus 3% versus the rest at plus or minus 4% accuracy. Again, ratchet mechanism seems all right. To adjust, there is a nice, easy to read sight window here and a pull to unlock, twist adjustment, and then push to lock. And it did also come with a calibration certificate. All have been warm up cycled. We're gonna go ahead and start here with the Pittsburgh. We're gonna do 20, 50, and 80. Precise built. Amazon basic. E-Torque. Pittsburgh at 50. Precise built. Amazon basic. E-Torque. Eighty Pittsburgh. Precise built. Amazon Basic. E Torque. So here's the data before. Pretty much everything did pass. Uh, the only thing that may be a little bit questionable is with the Amazon Basic there. After we factor in the accuracy of the tester, which is 0.5%, you can see that it could potentially push it out of the 4%. I'm gonna do a thousand cycles over there on the weight bracket on the tractor. We'll come back, do this again. All right, so I did the 1000 cycle. So we're gonna go ahead and of course do the 20, 50, and 80. Pittsburgh. Amazon Basic. E-Torque. Amazon, precise built, e-torque, 
So after that 1000 cycles, the Amazon Basics didn't do so well there at the 50 foot pound. So overall, just like when I test the half inch, the Amazon Basics again is out of that plus or minus 4% from my test results. Pittsburgh did pass barely. If you do need a cheap torque wrench, you could go with this, but I would say try to upgrade if you can. And if you need something cheap off of Amazon, this precise built seems to be accurate. But what I would say, if you could spend a little more, maybe go ahead and get this e-torque with the rubberized grip and the easy to read dial here. If you're looking for something more in your local box store like Home Depot or Lowe's, I would say to check my video out where I reviewed the Husky Craftsman gear wrench. I'll leave the link below.